The recent spike in fuel surcharges left the government to revisit its value-added tax exemption on electricity bills, initially aimed at assisting BPL consumers whose monthly bills were capped at $100 per month. This figure was soon bumped to $200 to include some 60-plus thousand of BPL's 90,000 customers. This was feasible up to the time two generators were damaged in a fire at BPL's Clifton Pier station, taking away about 70 megawatts of energy. Consequently, the Blue Hills power station had to be used. However, as Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis pointed out in the House of Assembly this morning, herein lies the problem. That the Clifton utilizes Bunker C, which is by far cheaper than what is utilized at Blue Hills Diesel, which is over $5 per gallon. So as a result of the fire and the subsequent switch, we ensure that electricity is provided for the nation, the cost would have subsequently increased. However, this has pushed a number of BPL's residential consumers over the $200 threshold. Consequently, here's the government's plan. I today advise the Honorable House that the government will be moving an amendment to the law to allow for a temporary increase in the VAT exempt ceiling from $200 per month to $300 per month through the end of the fiscal year that being June 2019. This will be made effective for December 2018 and will show up in the January billing cycle. The trends in the cost of the delivery of electricity will inform any decision to extend the increased exemption ceiling into the new fiscal year beginning July 2019. Prime Minister says he's also requested Public Works Minister Desmond Bannister and the BPL team to review and report the full range of options open to the government to address the increase in electricity bills. I wish to assure the Bahamian public that we remain resolute in the need for the country to substantially reduce its energy costs and the undue burden in places on Bahamian, it places on Bahamian citizens and on the cost of doing business in the Bahamas. We will continue to explore the reduction of energy costs. We will make a substantial transition to solar and other, other renewable energy supplies. You will hear much more about these plans and strategies in the coming months. Minister Bannister is expected to make a complete report of what happened during the Clifton Pier fire and how the government plans to resolve the issue both short and long term. Well, an outraged opposition leader reasons that while a higher fuel cost is being blamed for BPL's rate hike, the record shows that the company suffered several fires recently due to a lack of equipment maintenance. He added then that if this rate hike is to pay for lease supplemental power generation plants and other connected expenses, then this is not a fuel cost issue but one of mismanagement, as was the case, he said, with BPL's expensive voluntary separation package. Mr. Davis fined it wrong then for taxpayers and BPL customers to have to pay for the redundant missteps, errors and mismanagement and what he called a myopic government. Further, he suggests if the government is not up to the task, the solution is to replace it with one capable of managing an energy sector and necessary attendant reforms, stressing that the PLP is willing and able. And a petition has been sent out by the group We Need Help that has already garnered more than 15,000 signatures. The petition hashtag We Need Help is asking Bahamians to sign as they plea for the government to fix the high cost of electricity. Titled Fix the Electricity Cost 70% is a threat to our livelihood, claims that the government and the executives of BEC and BPL needs to lift the burden of living in the Bahamas. With all the other recent increases in the cost of living, it is almost impossible to exist with a 70% in the cost of electricity. Persons signing the petition say they are doing so because they cannot afford the increase in the electricity bill and a whole 70% is crazy. Some added that a pay raise is needed and not taxes raised. Others say that it is too much of a burden on behemoths, particularly with the recent VAT increase as well as the thought of NHI tax. The group is looking for 25 thousand signatures you're watching jcn news stay with us this segment of the news was brought to you by alive